Hey what's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So as you guys can see this is a different kind of setup, I'm in my car currently. I wanted to make this video and share my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus and why you should skip this one. Okay, so I wrote down here in my notes and let's start with design. So design is clearly, if you've seen it, then it is identical. Not much has changed on the front uh, or the back. Okay, there's a little bit of design change on the back. So the fingerprint has been placed from the uh, from the side to the bottom. So a much better placement. Uh, I guess Samsung heard all the complaints. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus also same story, but it does add another camera sensor. So it's kind of the Galaxy Note 8 in a way. Okay, so that's really it for design. Display quality is still the same. Now Samsung does claim that it is slightly brighter, but I mean keyword slightly. So not really sure how many people will take notice of how bright the Galaxy S9 compared to the Galaxy S8. I guess when they put them side by side, there might tell a slight difference, but in real life, I don't think there should be any difference. Now it is IP68 certified just like the Galaxy S8 so it is water and dust resistant. Um, again I don't really recommend taking your uh, phone to a pool to begin with. Okay. So what has changed then? Alright so the biggest feature of the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus has to be the camera or for the Galaxy S9 Plus the cameras. So the camera on the Galaxy S9 brings new technology that I haven't personally seen in a smartphone. I did do a little bit of research and I guess there is a, a Chinese manufacturer that has the ability to do what the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus can. So what it can do is change the aperture mechanically, meaning um, it's not really a fixed aperture. So you can go from f1.5 to f2.4. And there are a lot of benefits to this. Um, so the f1.5, it means that you get better low light photography. Now you cannot really go from f1.5 to f1.6 or f1.7. It's only strictly f1.5 to f2.4, and it detects that it detects that automatically when it's in auto mode, and you can change it manually when you're in pro mode. So that's a plus. That's a really nice feature. So the camera should be much improved from last generation uh from the last generation galaxy s devices and you do get the ability to have animated emojis just like the iphone 10. now i don't know how, how much useful that will be for uh the average consumer but i mean they, they did it to compete with the iphone 10 and i can understand that oh well, here's the thing and this is not a final review by any means this is just really first thoughts first impressions and I'm telling you skip this one right now if you have the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy S8 Plus unless you really care about photography then go ahead and upgrade to Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus but other than that um, I don't see I don't see why you should com uh, I, don't, I don't see why you should switch from the Galaxy S8 S8 Plus to the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus now I forgot to mention one thing that now it does have a stereo speaker which is nice so improved speakers much uh, much needed actually um, a lot of people did not like the speakers on the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. The bottom line if speaker and camera are your highest priority which I don't think there should be a lot of change in those departments to begin with. I don't think the camera would be uh, 20 times better than the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus is great camera. That's why I really don't think that if you have the S8 or the S8 Plus, you should switch to the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus unless you're uh, unless you really want the newest and the greatest and the newest product. Then yeah, go ahead and help yourself. Now pricing. So the Galaxy S9 it depends from um, it depends on where you are. But uh, if you want it unlocked outright, it will cost you for between seven hundred and twenty dollars for the Galaxy S9 and about eight hundred and thirty for the Galaxy S9 Plus. All right. So yeah, this has been it. My recommendation is skip this one, but I will do a follow-up video if I happen to change my mind, so stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter if you have any questions or you just want to hang out there. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I know a different setup. I don't, I never done this before, but we'll go back to normal setup soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.